Welcome to How To EGD. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take this circle, which is at radius 40, and create of it an isometric circle in the most easy way you've ever seen on the internet. And this is how we're going to do it. Of course, this circle, because it's a radius 40, the diameter will be 80 all round. Okay, and a circle, of course, fits perfectly within a square of which all sides are also equal. So that's going to be your first step. And I take it you all know that isometric drawings is done at 30 degrees. Okay, so you're going to draw your box, your first box, at 30 degrees. Just show you quickly how that's done. All right. Once you've drawn the outer box, the same diameter you are going to use here, you're going to use for the lengths of the side. So we've got 80, 80, 80. We're going to determine the center of each of these corners, which of course is our 40 and our 40. Use that to get our center. And you'll see that that center and this center corresponds. Okay. Once you've done that, the next step is to draw the longest possible line that you can within this box. And it's right here from this corner to that corner. That was our next step after the center lines have been determined. The next one is from the obtuse to the center of the opposite side. A line parallel. You're going to slide that down. You're going to draw another line. Okay. Now, all of these steps took us to determining these points here. These are the important points. Those two and those two. Okay, now using that, you're going to take your compass and you are going to start at this one, setting your compass on the distance from that center line and you're going to double check it. It should line up on this side and you can draw in your first R. That same radius should work for the bottom one. Double check it before you draw it. There it works and there it works. Perfect. Okay. Then our bottom mark is going to work for the top. And you're not taking it to this corner. You're just taking it again to that center. That's why those center lines are so important. Double check on this end. They should line up. There's our next mark. We're going to flip that. And there we go. That is our first isometric circle. Now to show you the steps, you're going to do the same steps on the opposite corners. And of course, this is just to show you how to draw an isometric circle in the different views. Again, you've got your isometric square. Next step is your center lines. And the next step, of course, the longest possible line within the square. Then from the obtuse to the opposite side and parallel to that, just down there, next one. That was used to determine this point. Okay, now take your compass, start off at the top. Same arc is used at the bottom. Then from this one you go to the opposite side all right so to help you see this again the short side is from this corner just that radius of that arc and then from the long one across here so I went a little bit over that one same on this side okay the last one is our top and we're going to do exactly the same, longest possible line. Righto, so there it is. We've taken this circle and we've projected that into isometric in three different views for you to practice how to draw an isometric circle. Thank you for watching. Now it's your turn. Mm -hmm.